Hey guys, thank you for watching Goldie, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to decimals. <laughs> how to add, subtract, times, and divide decimals. So first, we're going to do this at random decimals. So first, we're going to start off with some random decimals. So we're going to do uh, addition first. So 4... 23 plus 0 0.05 there you go and all what you simply do is just act like it's normal adding so you don't mind that you you actually you line them up but you still don't mind it all to do is just line up the decimal points and then you do normal math. It'll be 5, 6, 7, 8. That'll be 2. Then you put your point and you put down your 4. So that would be the answer. Alright then. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to subtracting. So, summarizing how to add. add all what you do is do a normal addition except for line up the decimal points. Alright, now we're going to do subtracting decimals. So let's get 0.2 minus on 0 0.2, um, 1. Point. Oh, hold on. We're going to try to teach you how to do it if it's just 1. So let's go ahead and do this. It's the same exact thing. You line them up. Go and cross that out. We go ahead and line them up. So it would be 0, 2. That's smaller than 1. So we're going to... Let's switch those around. So 1 minus 0, 0, 2. There you go. So now we're going to have to have 1 minus... Oh, no. 1, and that would be like that, so, because that's a whole number, and then you go ahead and subtract it, 2, there's nothing there, so you just go ahead and add some zeros, and you go ahead and add a decimal point there, so it would be just like 1, and there's nothing there, so you have to make it 0, 9, 10, that will be 8, and then nothing goes there, so it would just be 9, and then point and then nothing so it'd be 0 0.9 I mean 8 0 0.98 there we go and now the same rule of the number goes to addition so now we're going to timesing and when we're gonna times we're gonna go ahead and get some more random decimals. So one point two five times two point zero seven. All right. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go one point twenty five. You do not have to line up the decimals, so you could do that. Uh, the decimal could be digits, so you could put it underneath when you're not lining it up and what you do is go ahead and count the numbers after that decimal not the whole number and that's four so you go ahead and write four down and you go ahead and keep that number and then you, when you keep that number you go ahead and do your normal time scene. so seven times five would be thirty five do your average time scene, seven fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 7 times 1 would be 7, and plus 1 would be 8, so it's just be going to be like that, 0, boom, and then so we have to add 2 zeros because we're just going to skip that part, which would be normal 0, 2 zeros because it's going to be right here, and 2 times 5 is 10, you go ahead and do your normal math again, 5, Four, five, two. And you go and add those together just like normal. 
So 5, 7, 8, 20, 5, it all kind of goes together. Alright, so that'll be it. Then your 4 right here, you start from right here at the end, go 1, 2, 3, 4. So then it would go right there. And there we go. That is how you times a decimal. So it would be 2.5875. There you go. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to dividing decimals. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here to make sure I did the times correctly. Hey guys, and I'm back, and that is the correct answer. You could do it with your own calculators. That is the correct answer. So listen to my math. I do good math. Alright, so now we're going to go on to dividing decimals. And when we're going to be dividing decimals, we, it's it's kind of like a little bit diff, a different process. I will show you long division. If you guys do different ways, I guess you could use the same way, but it would just be different. But I'm going to show you how to do long division and and how to divide the decimals with long division. So let's go ahead and do this. First off, we're going to do the decimals. And then at the end of the video, I'll teach you how to do long division. Alright, and right here, the decimals. So I'm going to go ahead and make 4.25 divided by 0.25. 25 or something like that there you go and I know you could probably do that in your head but we're gonna show you how to divide it so what so it's gonna be 4.25 divided by 0 0.725 and now uh, you want to make that into a whole number so you want this to become a whole number so so it's going to be one, two jumps to become a whole number. So you got to make this do two jumps. So it's just going to be a coincidence that this is a whole number. All right, so that means we cross out the series. So now it's 20, so now it's 425 divided by 25. And now we're just going to do normal long division on that. So 25 goes into 42. So 25 times 2 would be 50 right so that would be only one time you could put down a zero uh, and it would be 25 let me go ahead and subtract that two five four three seven one two one it would be 17 bring down the five there you go and 25 into 75 so it would be four quarters to make one so that would be 100 and then three more to make 75 so that would be four plus three if i believe four plus three would be four plus three i don't know why i'm having trouble it's seven so then that'll be seven 175 is out all right so then you move the decimal up to where it was so if you would continue off, the decimal would be right here, but because it's still whole numbers. So that means you would do, you do that. And so 4.25 divided by 0 0.25 is 17. And if you guys uh, disagree about this decimal, it, you could say it's whole number decimal division. If you if you wanted to now I'm gonna check if I was correct I probably am hey guys and I am back and I actually am correct and now I am back with this bonus trying teaching you long division you guys can probably um base off how to do long division by just watching me do that but this is how you do long division and I'm gonna be doing normal numbers with this so I can teach you long division so if you wanted 171 divided by 3, there you go. We're going to do 171 in here. Whoops, I don't know, I was looking at the camera instead. 
so I couldn't draw. So don't mind that. It's 171. Then you go ahead and make a 171. Then you go ahead and make a base like that. And you go and put your number that you're dividing it by right here. So that would be 3. And then, so 3 goes into 1 how many times? 0 times. 0. So you just kind of go like that. And how much does 3 go into 7? 2 times. So you write 2 up here. And you do minus 6 like this. And you do 1. Then you bring down this. And once you're done with that subtracting, you bring down the next number like that. And the arrows do show do mean that you showed your work too. So if you're trying to show your work in the classroom. Um and then how much times is three going to eleven? Well let's see nine and then plus nine would be eleven. So then that would be four. No. I'm stupid. Alright. No, it could only go through with nine. 10, 11, yeah, so 3 should be 9, and you subtract that, 0, 11, and then that would be 9, and uh, then you go ahead and do this, oh jeez, I just have brain freeze, I don't know what I am even doing, <laughs> it's just 11 divided by 9, minus 9 again, yeah, I don't do something, oh, I'm joking. Um, supported, you don't have to do this, so it's still 11 minus 9, yeah, so 8, well I guess, I don't know, I kind of disagree with what I said earlier, don't mind that, okay, um, just pretend that I never said that, so we got, so that would be 8, so it would be 2, so it's, that's, that's as far as you can go, so you so do that, and you go ahead and write, R2, so that'll be your answer. 23 remainder 2. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, I almost forgot. If you're dividing a decimal, so let's create a random decimal 4.1756 divided by 3.01 or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And so I'm gonna subtract. I'm going to do that 1, 2, so 1, 2, so as you can see, the decimal would be right here, it's not a whole number, and so 301 uh, versus 417.56, so that's what we're going to be, go ahead and solve, this is a big number, uh, but I'm going to teach you how to do this big number, uh, it's basically the same exact thing, so it would basically be just like, 301 goes into 4, no, 41, no, 417, yeah, so go in one time because 301 minus, that will be 6, that will be 1, and that will be 1, then you bring down that, that should be 5, so it would be 1165, now the decimals right there, uh, so then you put the decimal after this, and then the answer for that, I'm going to use a calculator for that. Uh, you guys would have to, you guys, so, I don't know what happened. Alright, never mind. Hey guys, I am sorry, and I, I kind of got lost in my own words, I guess you could say. Um, so, what's, what, I'm just going to tell you how to do this, so, um, I'm not actually going to do it right now because we don't have much time, but if, like your other answers, let's say if it was 5, this is not correct, but you would put it after that, and that would be the answer if that was the answer, but if you had to keep going, you would add a 0 and bring it down to like your one number that you were doing, alright, so that would be the 0, then you would keep going, and if you had to keep going, you add another 0 and bring it down to that one number, alright. And then once you get all these numbers, and then it actually goes all even, you keep doing it until it goes even, until it's all uh, one decimal. There's no remainders, alright? And that would be your answer for whatever you were doing. So it'd be like, for example, it'd just be like 1.57887.